Let's look a little closer at inserts. As I showed you in the last video, we can easily drag these and make copies of them by holding down Option. But I can also just move them around just by dragging from one slot to another, from one track to another. I can also bypass a plugin very easily with Command Click. Now I want to point out the difference between bypassing and making a plugin inactive. Bypassing by command clicking or right clicking and choosing bypass just simply disables that plugin for the moment. You can even automate this, which we'll talk about when we talk about automation. If I choose make inactive, you'll see it turns dim and italicized. That means that this plugin is no longer taking up power from my cards in my computer or my internal CPU. So you only want to make something inactive if you plan to not use it anymore, or if I've frozen this track, maybe bounced it to another audio track, I don't need this plugin anymore, but I want to remember it was there. So I just make it inactive. But typically what we're doing is just bypassing it. Notice also in the plugin window, I can bypass right from here as well. Now with the plugin window up, I showed you how we can change presets just from the pop-up list. You're probably wondering how I add my own presets. Pretty simple. I just make any changes I want. And under this little arrow here, and save settings as, and I give it a name. Now, where will the setting be saved? That's very important. Well, I can save it in my root settings folder, which means it's available for all Pro Tools sessions, or just in this specific session folder which means it's only available for this session. And then I can determine where the root settings folder is. Usually it's under library, application support, digital design, plugin settings. Now, when I save this and I'll save this as my new preset. And now in the menu here, I have my new preset. Notice that I have all these global settings here, and then just the ones for this session. Other sessions won't have these presets, only these global ones. If I only wanted to save a preset for this session, I simply change this to save plugin to the session folder. I'll make some other changes, and I'll go up here and choose save settings as, and my second preset. Well, it's not showing up here because it's not a root settings preset. It won't apply to any sessions but the current one. So I have to go up to my session settings folder, and there it is, my second preset. There's my first one. I can go back to that one. And I can also use the plus and minus to step through different presets. Another way to browse presets is this icon here, which brings up a little window, and I can just click here and audition different presets. And there's a way of automatically incrementing the presets so as you're listening back, Pro Tools does the work for you. I typically like to do that myself. Now you'll notice the compare button here. When I have a preset, let's go back to my new preset, and I make a change. The compare light goes on. And that allows me to compare my current settings to the previous settings. And if I like this new setting, this is italicized, which means it's not saved. I can simply go to here and choose Save Settings. It will save over. The compare light goes off. I now have this called my new preset. One last thing about this window. You'll notice over here, I have track information. I can switch easily to a different track, to a different insert, any one from A to J. And right from here, I can add an insert. So you'll notice now on my organ track, in the second slot, I added a compressor. 